What's up everybody? It's your girl, the Prophetic Princess, coming with a quick <laughs> word of encouragement because you know if you're prophetic, you can get a word out of anything. I want you all to take a look at this bookshelf that I put together. Yes, I know it's cute. So I put this together, right? No big deal. I like to put things together. I am the type. I don't like to read the instructions. I just want to kind of figure things out, but with this, it was so much, so many missing, so many pieces that I looked at the, I looked at the instructions, right? So it said it would take 30 minutes for me to put it together. I wrestled with this thing for hours. Let's talk about why I wrestled. Let's talk about why I wrestled for hours. And this is going to be so quick. You all see this? This is a hammer. I brought this hammer from Hobby Lobby. Cute little hammer. I needed to hang some stuff on the wall, right? It's a really good, it, it's a good hammer. It gets the job done as far as hanging stuff. What I thought was cool is that it comes with, and please stick around, it's a message in this. It comes with the Phillips screwdriver and a, I'm like, ooh, this is cute, blah, blah, blah. Bookshelf comes in, I need a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm like, shoot, I'm good, I got it. So I started putting it together immediately. I was like, okay, it says 30 minutes. Why is it taking so long? Why am I wrestling? I started getting like a blister right here because I was having to turn so hard and using two hands and the screw still wouldn't go all the way in. It was very frustrating. The first night I gave up on it and I'm not the type to give up. The first night I was like, screw this, I can't do it. Second day, second morning I get up, I'm still trying to do it, having the same issue. Screws won't go all the way in. My hands are hurting. And I'm like, I don't understand. I'm talking mad trash. I don't understand why they would make this boot shelf so hard to put together. Da, 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 talking about 30 minutes, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I'm going to go get a screwdriver. A big screwdriver, right? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I run to Walmart and I get a big screwdriver. If you know me, you know you know what my color is. If you My favorite color is if you follow me, but... I don't like red like that at all, right? Favorite color, hello. I don't like red like that at all. So I'm the type, I was looking, I was like, well, I want a screwdriver to look a certain way, but the ones that, I like black also, that's one of my favorite colors as well. Not the favorite, but one of. So I saw some nice black screwdrivers. I know y'all, I'm sleepy. I saw some black screwdrivers, I didn't want to pay for it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just get this little red screwdriver, whatever, whatever. Get back to the house. I'm screwing y'all with one hand. It's going in so easily. And I'm like, wait a minute. Why, how was it this easy? I was trying to work with, please do not log off this video. I was trying to work with this in pain, getting blisters, using two hands. This I'm using one hand and it's going in with ease. And I'm like, wait a minute. Then I said to myself, I see why they said 30 minutes. It, it, I, I see why they say 30 minutes, right? The assignment of putting the bookshelf together was not hard. I thought it was hard because I was using the wrong tool. I went for this. Ooh, I went for this. It's cute, right? I went for something cute. Oh, it's cute. It has this, this, this. It's cute, but it's too small. It's not big enough to get the job done. It looks like it could get it done because this is the perfect size. But because of the length of it, I had to use more force. I was causing myself pain and it still wouldn't go all the way in. I forgot about the aesthetics of the thing. I didn't care anymore about how it looked. I just wanted to get the job done. After going through all of this toil, after being frustrated, I decided, oh, I just want to get the job done. I go get what doesn't look like. It doesn't look how I want it to look, but I go and I'm turning and now the bookshelf is coming together with ease. Can I encourage some of you? The warfare, the assignments, the things that you're trying to get done that you said God called you to and you're saying, oh, this is too hard. I don't understand. This is about to kill me. Whatever lingo you're using is really not. It's not that hard. The issue is you're using the wrong tools. You're trying to depend more on yourself than you are on God. I was using way more of my strength when I was using this little piece, the piece I wanted because it was cute. When I turned around and said, okay, it doesn't look the way I want it to look, but it's bigger and it's, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Bigger, a bigger tool. I used less force. It seems like I was using less of my strength and it was going in with 
with ease. Some of you, you need to change tools. You need to go get the right tool. You're fighting. You're trying to create. You're trying to do all of this the wrong way. I'm sure it was Holy Spirit. It said, we need to go get a big screwdriver because y'all know how me and Holy Spirit get down. I'm sure it was him. They said, girl, go get a big screwdriver. I said, Lord, I put myself through all of this pain, all of this unnecessary pain, all of this unnecessary exhaustion, simply because I wanted to go with what was cute. message change tools this assignment is not about to take you out it's not too much for you you're grace for it you just need to change the tools that you're working with come on prayer come on fasting come on i'm not gonna respond i'm gonna keep my mouth shut and let the lord handle it you need to change your weaponry change your arsenal come on forget about what's cute there are a lot of cute things. There are a lot of cute people out here. There are a lot of cute pastors. There are a lot of cute leaders. There are a lot of cute, all of this stuff, and they have no oil. They ain't got no oil. They're trying to do all this stuff, trying to conjure up this stuff. Change tools. I'm sleepy. Do y'all get the message that I'm trying to convey? Some of you, assignment is not too great. You're just not using the right tool. Some of you, you need to go back. You need to go back and do what the Lord told you to do the first time. That's what I'm hearing. You already know what to do. He told you. You decided to go another route. Others of you, you need to sit before him and get in his presence and ask him how you should do a thing. Ask him for the strategy. But for some of you, he already gave it to you. You just decided to go another way. All right. I'm done. I'm done. I hope you all got the message. I hope you all understand what I'm trying to say. Today is Saturday. I don't know when I'm going to edit and release this video because I have a, another video I need to release. But, well, I might try to go ahead and get it released maybe tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Go to my website if you need prayers that you can pray literally right now. You can jump on my website and find prayers. Those of you that, that are going through mental warfare, I even have a mental warfare prayer on my website. If you need to book a life strategy session, go to my website. If you need a deliverance session, I'm not doing deliverance yet. Again, I haven't started back. So, I don't know. But if you want to sew, you can go to my website. If you want to buy a book, you can go to my website and use a chat feature to send me a message. That's if you want the book from me. You can get my book off of Amazon. But if you want it from me... You can go to my website. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Bye, y'all.